welcome. All right, so we are going to be making mugs. These are functional mugs that when you're finished making them, firing them, glazing them, you'll be able to drink out of them, put them in the microwave, they're oven safe, dishwasher safe, all that jazz. Hey, can you hand me that mug on top of that microwave? I do have a finished example, but I gotta be make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't get in the camera. So we have a finished mug here. There's many things that are wrong with this. Um, we'll talk about that. But when you're finished, you can, I actually use this, even though it doesn't have a handle, uh, to drink tea out of. Okay, set yourself up for success. You need some clay. You're gonna want a sponge, um, a, a rib, or something smooth. You're gonna need a fork or a scoring tool, a fettling knife or a butter knife. And then you're gonna want two PVC pipes. One uh, I have wrapped in um, newspaper. The other one is just plastic so I can show you how I wrap this. I take one full sheet of newspaper, place the pipe in the center, roll this down, and then tuck your edges. If you don't put newspaper around the pipe, your clay will stick to it. All right, you're also gonna need sticks and some water. Okay, the sticks are a fourth of an inch thick. And then the clay, what you wanna do with the clay, um, we a lot of times recycle our clay, so you're gonna need to wedge it. So we wedge it, palms down, lift up, and it shapes kind of an ox head shape. Then when, once it starts getting kind of horizontal, you wanna flip it vertical. Okay, then you should also have a wire cutter. If you wanna know how much you should wedge this, you basically were compressing the clay and making it homogeneous, which means the same through and through. So if I cut it with a wire cutter and there are no spots like bumps and lumps and air pockets, then you're good to go. So if you place these two pieces of clay back together, you're gonna to create an air pocket. So you wanna smash it together. All right, then what I do, is I, I, I slam the clay down into like a, a, a large pancake patty. Then you want to take the sticks on either side. Then you're going to take your PVC pipe that's wrapped with newspaper and you're going to roll. Can oh, you get that water? You're going to roll and flip. Now, this piece is kind of big. So I'm gonna cut it in half. As you can see, like it's really, it's really thick. We're trying to get to this thinness. So I'm gonna just set this off to the side. All right. And instead of rolling this out into like a pancake form or a square, you want it to kind of be elongated. And you'll see what, oop, that happens. If your newspaper rips, That's why I have fresh newspaper underneath. So that way I don't have to constantly be going back to get some newspaper. So the sticks are on either side to prevent the clay from getting any thinner. And I want it to just be a little bit thicker side. Okay. Now, how do I know I've rolled out enough? If there's a dent here, then you need to roll a little bit more. You really have to put your whole body into this. If you're seated doing like that, you're, nothing's really happening. Okay. All right, That's now we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna take my sticks, place them off to the side, take my rib and I'm gonna smooth out the clay. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, diagonal. We're comp compressing the clay so that way we don't have cracking later on. Flip it over and repeat. Now you can use white clay, gray clay, or Indian red clay. We have all three. They're all low fire clays. 
So we use low fire glazes. So our clay and our glaze, they're compatible. All right. Okay, smoothed out. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your stick, place it on the edge here, and we're going to get a nice clean edge on the side and remove the excess clay. Then work smarter, not harder. Instead of picking up the slab and moving it, I'm going to move my newspaper. Okay. Then on the very end, I'm going to cut a clean edge like so. Then I'm going to rotate again and I'm going to cut again. So I have all three sides cut, leaving one side organic. Okay. I'm going to turn this back around. Now I'm going to take one of the PVC pipes that's wrapped in newspaper and I'm going to place this down here on the edge, but I want you to have a little bit of clay hanging over and you'll see why here in a minute. Now, instead of picking up the clay with my fingers like this, I'm going to use the newspaper and you want this to be a nice tight roll. Once you have it up like that, okay. And then where it meets, take your knife and put a little hatch mark on either side. Unroll it, take your stick, line it up, cut, okay? Then this excess clay, hold on to this. This will be the bottom of your mug. Okay, so we're gonna just set that off to the side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this is, this is the mug. This is the bottom that we haven't put on yet, but this is the mug. Okay, so if you want it to be taller than your slab, you know, you're going to have to like think of that. Okay, so now I need to score. So where the two pieces of clay meet, I'm going to score. So I'm going to score here and I'm going to score there. So I just do this and then really scratch it up. Kind of see that better. Score it and then down here. I'm going to score. Remember, when if you don't score well, your clay will not, it won't stick. So it's like this. Clay dries, it'll pop off. But if you score it, it's going to stay. All right, and I take a little bit of water, a little dab, and then this is going to be super tight, and you're going to push this together like so. Kind of squeeze that down on top of it. Okay, that. All right, then I'm going to take my rib and I'm going to butter that hump. So if you don't measure correctly, like if you have excess, you're going to have a big hump here. And if that happens, you'll just need to scrape off that excess so you don't have a big hump. Butter this down. All right, I like a lot of texture. Let me clean off my rib tool. Okay, and then as you can see here, there's like a little hitchhiker here. So I'm just going to take and roll my knife like that to get rid of the excess. Okay, and this is the bottom. If you just get this part finished during a class period, you're doing okay. Because the whole process of making the mug is um, like the whole steps that I'm going to show you, you're not going to be able to get done in a class period. Okay, the bottom. Now I'm going to take that piece of clay set it down. I'm going to take this pipe with the clay on it and just set it here. Then take a pencil, pen, colored pencil, and you're going to draw a circle and trace, remove the clay. You can see here how I have a trace. And you're going to do a sunshine cut. So I'm going to cut like rays of sun. Okay, and then I'm going to take my knife and remove it little by little. The bottom piece, so this is what about a fourth of an inch. If your bottom were double that, like that, that would be okay too because it's the bottom of the piece. You just don't want the whole mug to be too thick. Okay, 
So we have that circle cut off. Now I'm going to score where this is going to be attaching. So I'm not going to score in the middle because that's the, that's the bottom of my mug. So there's no play attaching the center. So I'm going to score on the edges. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to score here. This gets a little tricky. Just using a fork. Okay, make sure my newspaper is tucked down in there. Take a little bit of water. Do, do, do. I'm going to take this piece and attach the bottom. Okay, it's on there. Then, see that the seam? We need to get that seam gone. So we're going to butter the seam into the mug. Get rid of that seam. If if your seam, if you can see a seam, get rid of it because when the clay dries, it like remembers that seam. Okay, smooth it out. Okay, okay, and so if you get to this spot, your handle is something that you want to do in a later class period. So you want to bag this up. Hold on one second. So if you're storing this for later, what you want to do is take a Kroger bag and put it in like this, but that's not it because see this air, your piece will be dried out the next time that you, you get it. So what you want to do is take another Kroger bag and do like that to make sure it's wrapped up and then store it on its side. You don't want to store it like this or like this because gravity. Okay. So. The next thing that you can do, I have stamps where you can stamp your name. The clay cannot be wet. So if the clay is really wet like this and you go to stamp in it, the stamp is gonna rip the clay off. So what you can do, we have a paper towel. You could take newspaper and put it on the clay to make sure that it's, you've gotten up that moisture or paper towel and just do like this. Okay, and then we're ready to go. I have this Z X, and I'm just gonna stamp into this, and you can stamp your name, okay? Um, so you wanna make sure that you're, this is the way the mug is upright, and we're gonna put a handle on it, and this is the bottom, because some people stamp it like this, and then it's upside down. Okay, so let's just pretend that you have your stamping on here and everything's good. Then you need to take it off the pipe. So I take off the newspaper, grab the plastic, pull the pipe out, okay? Take the newspaper out. Now, if you have little pieces of newspaper that are inside, that's okay. The kiln will burn that away. But if you've got a big chunk, you definitely want to remove that. Okay, so the rim of the mug. Take a sponge and smooth, smooth the edge of your mug because if you don't, it's good. when it's fired, it'll be razor sharp and it'll cut your face when you go to drink out of it. So you gotta think of the functionality of what you're doing. Okay, now I'm gonna write my name on the bottom. Okay, all right. Um, when you stamp on this, it has to be on a pipe. Otherwise, if you stamp and the pipe's not there, it's gonna crush it. Okay, you don't want that. All right, so a handle. You're gonna take a wad of clay and you're gonna roll a coil. And what I'm doing is this. I just do it kind of fast. If you wanna make a braided handle, you can do that if you know how to braid. Um, so you roll out a coil. If you're braiding, you'd want three coils, okay? And the clay has to be pretty supple and pliable. If it's real hard and starts to crack, you need to get a different kind of clay that's a little bit softer. Okay, so what I like to do, is I like to take my stick and just roll back and forth to get to give it some kind of design. Okay, and then I want to, this is where it gets tricky, lay it on its side or have a friend hold it like this, but I can't do that, I don't want anybody in the camera. 
I'm going to cut, okay, then I'm going to pull this and just kind of get an idea of where it's going to go, okay, I'm going to cut, all right, then take your stick, put it in here like so, and then you're going to score where it's going to attach. Okay, then the handle, you want to score where it's going to attach. And this works better if the clay is a little bit softer. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And then I'm going to notice my fingers are inside, squeeze that. Now I can't really get to there, so I'm going to be smarter about it. Use the stick, put it in there, press, position, take a little bit of water, kind of smooth out some of this clay. Okay, and here's your handle. You want to be able to fit, while it's wet, three fingers in it, because when, this will shrink when it's fired. Now think about the functionality of this piece. Okay, like how do you hold a coffee mug? I would hold it like, okay, like that. But then, if I want to hold it just without the handle, like this. I'm going to show you a little trick. So this is going to be a mug that's specifically for me. I'm going to take and I'm gonna crush where I'm holding it. See how it's a little deformed? But that's my hand. That's my hand. So this mug is specifically made for me. You can make one specifically made for you. So I can hold it this way or like this. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do that, but it's just an idea. All right, so make sure I don't have any hitchhikers that are going to be razor sharp. And then when you're satisfied with this, we want this to dry, but we want it to dry slowly. So you do not want to put a bag over it and wrap it up so air doesn't get to it. We want a bag over it to dry slowly. But what you want to do is put the bag on the side with the handle. Okay, like this. So when we store it to dry, just like this. Because what happens, this handle is thinner than the rest of the mug. This is gonna dry out quick, quicker, more quickly than the mug. So we slow that process down by putting a bag there. Okay? Thank you for joining me on how to make a mug.